stuff installed and the new uh, downpipe and catback install all from Unitronic. Nice. And here we are out at DOS Auto Works in Tampa. I'm joined by Gian and Marvin behind the camera. Um, DOS Auto Works is a uh, dealer alternative service shop here in Tampa, Florida that specializes in European automotive repair, but they also do all kinds of different stuff. We're out here today having some fun. Gene, you want to expand on that a little bit? We are going to be installing the Unitronic Uniflex system, the multiport injection, and the turbo back for the Mark 8. So a lot of fun going on today, a lot of cool new parts. Let's go inside, check it out, grab some B-roll, see how the install is going, and maybe we'll talk to Josh, the owner of DOS Auto Works, and get a little bit of insight into the business. Here at DOS Auto Works with Josh. Josh has been in the community a long time, been here at DOS a long time. Um, Josh, can you just give us a little bit of history on the on the business and, and you and how you know you were tuning in with Justin? Back in high school, first started driving, 15, started hanging out with the uh, Tampa V Dubs. I've known him quite a while from high school, went to UTI, Volkswagen program, started working at the dealers. End goal was always to have my own shop. And so that's what I did. Here we are. Primarily Volkswagen Audi. Uh, but we do all Euros, really all makes and models as far as basic maintenance goes, but Volkswagen Audi will do everything. Full builds, custom stuff, performance stuff, just don't do any custom tuning. Everything's pretty much off the shelf, but we will work with other custom tuners to help get what we need done. So what's happening now? Um, they they ask you to measure 16 millimeters uh, on the provided 7 millimeter drill bit. Okay. So that way you don't drill too deep and uh, damage the flaps on the intake. Um, if you don't have a, a caliper like they say, I guess you could take like a 16 or 17 millimeter wrench and measure it out like that and mark it and uh, you should be good to go. Awesome. So this is essentially the point of no return. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, they'll, they'll provide a guide uh, so that way you can drill nice and straight and uh, once again it should be pretty straightforward but it is the point of no return. And uh, I don't know if you can see but the hole is drilled. I'll go ahead and clean that up uh, after the fact but it's true. Awesome. the main wiring for the ECM. You can see where you unplug it. And then as part of the install, we'll be adding these pins to that harness. And then this wire will feed into the fuse box so we can hook up an additional fuse to it. That way, if there's ever an issue, instead of causing an electrical problem, it'll just blow the fuse. 
It's, that's the idea, anyways. So, making solid progress here, thanks to Eddie. We're not doing any, this is all him, not us. <laughs> MVP right here. Yep. So Eddie, how's the, how's the install going so far? So far, so good. It's it's pretty familiar, like I keep saying, like uh, it's pretty familiar to the Mark 7. Um, not only that, I haven't mentioned it, but I mean, Unitronic has some really good instructions, so pretty straightforward. As long as you can read and follow instructions, you should be good, man. <laughs> Luckily, I can read and follow instructions. <laughs> all the wiring and all the pins where they go according to the instructions for Unitronic. Pretty straightforward. So that's all done. We'll go ahead and wrap this up and make it look all pretty. Uh, we also routed the, uh, the new power supply to this harness uh, to the fuse box right here. We'll go ahead and put the supply 20 amp fuse in. That should be ready to go. Tie this in and it'll look like a factory. I don't even know it was there. So we finished the installation for the Uniflex. Basically, according to the instructions, we have to remove this uh, panel right here. Uh, and there's a module and a on a device that's called the sound actor. Uh, we tap into that to supply the power for the Bluetooth unit here. Um, we run the wiring cleanly through here, attach it uh, right here by the reservoir. And uh, we go ahead and cut the fuel lines according to the instruction once again. Uh, nice clean install. Once again, it looks factory. You can't even really tell if it's there unless you're actually looking for something. So, it's a nice product. about a day's worth of work. Super thankful to Josh and his whole team here at DOS Auto Works. Um, do great work, all the guys. Great shout out to Eddie and Tavi as well for helping out. Um, if you're in the Tampa area, come check out DOS Auto Works. They do great work. Again, Josh, for sure. Thank you guys. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna head back to the shop and flash this to the beta software now and get testing with ethanol. So here we are, back at the shop. It's been a couple days, yeah. I think we picked the car up on Friday. It is now Tuesday, um, getting ready to flash. We have John Staffy from Unitronic uh, on remote desktop helping us out to flash the car today um, since it's a beta file and you know we're testing everything to make sure. So we're super excited um, to get the ethanol and flex fuel tunes loaded. Uh, we're just gonna kind of watch the process here. Everything that is happening on the laptop is not what will be seen on a customer facing side because this is still in beta. So we'll get everything flashed, installed, start testing, start doing the logs uh, and hopefully have some fun with some ethanol. We're gonna go ahead and wrap up filming here and jump right into it. First, first flash to test with the hardware and stuff um, is their stage one 91 flex file. So that's what's on the car now. Uh, Marvin, I don't know if you can see this on camera. Down here now in our performance window, we have our uh, ethanol gauge that's built into the cluster. Um, that's part of what makes this kit so nice is it's like, makes it look really factory, really um, 
like stock. So we're just gonna test drive. There's no ethanol in the car. It's just regular pump gas right now. Um, by GN. So we're just gonna test drive and make sure everything's okay. Um, and then starting tonight or tomorrow, we'll do some data logs. Um, and then hopefully this week start testing with ethanol and then bump up to stage two um, and then be like proper stage two ethanol flex fuel ready to go. The way this works from Unitronic is when you have cruise control turned off, your performance meter that comes with the car in your um, gauge cluster, um, normally it reads uh, horsepower in kilowatts. How accurate it is, I don't know. But with the flex fuel tune, Unitronic has adjusted it to read ethanol content based on the flex fuel sensor that was installed in the engine bay. So right now we're reading 10% ethanol, which is pretty normal for pump gas. That's just, it will always vary somewhere between, I don't know, like six and 10% or something like that. Um, but if you turn cruise control on, uh, as if you're you know on a road trip or just want to use cruise control, it gives you back your regular performance meter and gives you the output in kilowatts from the car. So right now, like we're sitting between 30 and 50 as I'm just using the gas going back and forth. And then I can see my cruise control signal down here at the bottom. So uh, pretty neat how that's all integrated and works. Um, yeah, it goes up like 150 kilowatts. So I don't know what kilowatts to horsepower is. Somebody I'm sure knows that math and Google definitely knows the math, but I don't. So your P3 gauge, um, best I understand it, your P3 gauge out of the box now should be able to read ethanol on Mark 8 and 8Y platforms um, as long as it's plugged in. Um, and I'll let our buddy over at P3, Jake, I'll let him explain that a little better than I can because he's way smarter than I am. Maybe just a tiny bit, at least in the gauge department. Before this setup, we're talking about V3 gauges only. So you need to have this control box. It will just say performance visualized here and control box down here. Might be gray, might be black, but it needs to be a V3 OBD2 gauge. And it needs to have a date of 7122 or newer in order to have this software. If you've got an earlier V3 gauge than that, send us an email and we'll go ahead and help you out with a software update. If you've got a V2 gauge, this isn't gonna apply. And if you've got an analog gauge, which has a similar looking control box, but it's a little bit shorter, doesn't work for this guy either. So if you've got that covered, you're good. Moving on, we want to get the gauge to recognize ethanol content. So the gauge only looks for ethanol content the very first time it starts up. So if you installed your gauge before your flex tune, it's not gonna see it right away. So go into your configuration menu, hold both buttons, until CONF appears, we're gonna tap the right button to scroll over to the car configuration setting, which is CC dot something. In this car, it's CC dot A. We wanna now tap the left button to cycle through all the available settings and land back on the setting your car is supposed to be set to. Now, anytime you adjust this setting, even if you land on the same variable, the gauge is going to rescan the ECU for all available PIDs on its next startup. So if you've installed a flex tune, it is now going to look for ethanol again on the next startup. So go ahead and hold the right button to shut the gauge off, save and exit the menu. We're gonna start the car. It's gonna take a little longer to fire up this time because it's rescanning the ECU. That's what the fast dots are showing you. Once it fires up, you'll be up on boost and then boom, we've got ethanol. Except in this case, I don't have the sensor hooked up, but that's it. It's gonna read your ethanol. It's that simple. Ethanol content right through the OBD2 port. And if you don't have a V3 gauge, you can still read ethanol content using our ESVA, which is available at eurotuning.com. Back to Colin and Marvin. Thanks for that information, Jake. I hope everybody liked hearing from the smartest man alive. So another cool thing that you get access to when you get the Flex Fuel Kit is Unitronics E85 Manager app. This app lets you see your current ethanol blend, fuel temp. It also has a built-in ethanol mix calculator, so you can figure out what your ethanol content will be at the pump if you're targeting a certain ethanol level. You can use this to help you identify that. Um, there's a couple of different settings in here as well if you need to offset ethanol percentages, if you wanna read in Celsius or Fahrenheit, light mode, dark mode, whatever your preference is. The ethanol app is pretty thorough and helps you manage this ethanol content in your car alongside all the other peripherals that we've talked about. We're stage two flex now. You guys ready? Yep. Ain't nothing to it, but do it really. Exactly. Thanks, Connor. What, words of wisdom from Connor over here. Exactly. We're just gonna roll into it, not gonna launch it. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have 60 miles an hour. <laughs> Holy 
Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, same thing. We're just gonna roll into it. First gear, manual mode on the trans race and engine. We'll slow down just a bit. Bang, punch it. Oh my God. We just lost traction going into second. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's solid. Oh yeah. We should get some of the other guys in here and, and get some reactions. Yeah. What do you think? Highly recommend it. Yeah, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> it's even crazier with the traction track. That's right. so nice. <laughs> All right. Thoughts. Wow. It is such a comparison from like, just like a normal stage one Mark 8 like GTI. It's like night and day difference. It really is. How's it stack out against the Supra? Honestly. Probably extremely close. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably oh, yeah. extremely close. Awesome. Well, thanks, Ethan. Appreciate it, dude. Absolutely. What are, you, what are you expecting from it? I'm expecting my heart to be in much the bottom of my chest. So. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see. So Phil from customer support. What do you drive? Stage one Tiguan, stage two Stage Tiguan? one plus Tiguan. Stage one plus MQB Tiguan. Front wheel drive? Front wheel drive, unfortunately. Boy, howdy. <laughs> For anyone wondering, <laughs> I am selling the Tiguan as is. Uh, I'll give it to you with the tune. At this point, I think a Mark 8 is uh, in my future. So there you have it, super spicy tune from Unitronic on the flex fuel setup. We've been lucky enough to beta test it. We hope you enjoyed the shots of some of the guys from the shop joy riding along while we were testing it out. All the hardware is available now, software is coming soon. Either way, you can get it all from Eurotuning.com. We'll see you later.